Hey guys, back to the video. Um, before I get interrupted again, I'm gonna make a little bit of a quicker version of this video. Um, yeah, we'll go over the parts. This is the Shark Rocket Pet Pro Cordless Vac. It's full of dirt right now at the moment because I vacuumed everything I can. All my airy rugs, rugs, and hair floor. Alright. So we will start with the floor head. Here it is. Your main vac. Your shark charger. Your two in rush, two in one brush and couch nozzle. Stiff, a bit of a stiff brush. You have your crevice tool. And you have your, yeah, <laughs> you have your um, bendable extension tube that goes for the back. I will be demonstrating all of the attachments and whatsoever. I am on my carpet at the moment and I put my thing in. Alright, we'll start with going over the floor head because it will take a little while. So here it is. It is a nice rubbery type thing. And I heard that it apparently polishes your floors. So I've never heard of that. Um, occasionally I'll pop off these wheels right here with the screwdriver. And I just pull all this hair off because we have a dog that produce, produce, produces a insane amount of hair so we usually try to we vacuum at least once a day okay, and pop it back in it is a felt wheel it has felt on it which I like so it doesn't scuff up your hardwood floors and people use yeah it's like generally felt See how clogged up they get with hair? Yeah, ours is... Like I said, we have a dog that produces a crazy amount of hair, so... I try to keep it as in good condition as I can. Alright, now we can pop this. Something that I have noticed is we have the newer version, or the cheaper version, without the removable battery. Nothing. You, you can't take it off. But. Okay, anyways. <laughs> um, yeah, so there's that now they roll smoothly. It has these nice little little teeth here. You can see right there. Yeah. These little dots right here. Um, it has a couple of them and it helps with cleaning deeper pile carpets. This one is a good medium pile and it is almost to the top. You can push it down a little bit and it just helps it move around. Alright, you have an LED headlight which illuminates very, very well. You have a high speed roller. Like I said, it's plastic, but it literally has never gotten tangled. So it's true that it is a self cleaning brush roll. Ooh. Look at that. Hmm. I had literally no idea what that was in there. So, yeah. There are these three little gray things and you just slide them. It's, it's super easy. You can wash that or something, do whatever you want with it. So, you can stick your finger in there and check around for any blockages or anything. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, 
here is a good opportunity to show you the self-cleaning brush while doing its job. You can to situate my light. Yeah, you can see it right there a little bit. And it just hits it as it comes. Yeah, you can see that. Okay. Honestly, we could just turn on this light. And I would be fine in the end. Well, let's still keep this here. Oh. Okay, that, there's that. Um, I do not believe it has a belt. I think it's just good old rusty gears. <laughs> um, yeah. So it's really easy to pop off and pop back on. Oh, there is this felt thing, so you can use it on hardwood floors. And I must say, this does do a good job. So you can wash this like I said. I have not washed it and I don't really need to. That's why I didn't wash it. And you can take like shop vac or just a random old crusty vacuum that you don't care about. Or a vacuum, like I said, a shop vac that you do use a lot. And just vacuum out the inside of that because you can't wash that because it's electronics. Yeah, it took us five minutes to do that one part of this vacuum. All right, so let's go over the wand. It is nice. Ours is like this kind of orangey red thing. It reminds me of a Dyson red. It is nice metal. It, it feels very good. Quality. It feels very good quality. Um, that's a little chunky right there, but it doesn't bother me. Um, it is very lightweight. I mean, you can. It, it's a little top heavy because there's this big old metal part up here. But no, that's plastic. There's. Oh yeah, it has the wire thing. Um, it is very small too, but it reminds me of an Oric. It has gotten clogged up before. In fact, there is something in there. I don't know if you can see it. Let me see. Yeah, this is what we did with our last time it got clogged. Just, ow. Maybe not with a screwdriver end, but. Um, yeah. Like I said, not with a screwdriver end, but otherwise, there is a button here that releases the vacuum on top, and there is a button here that makes it bend. So, there's that. And we can go ahead and put the first part of the darn vacuum together. Oh, and it has this little thing that sticks out right here, so when you have it leaned up against a wall, or when it's flipped over, sorry, the vacuum, when it hits this, when it comes down, it hits that instead of breaking this or breaking itself. So I'll show you that. Charger, it's a charger, it's just a regular old DC charger. Your crevice tool, it's not very small, but it's also not very big. There you go, your release button right there. Your extra brush. Oh, oh, I have not noticed that, but it is a double brush. Yeah. See, it's a double brush. That is pretty cool. Yeah. There's those. And that's a vacuum. Here it is. Um, you have your on-off switch. Um, it 
you push it forward once and like in the middle and it makes the brush roll spin slower and you push it forward even more for carpets and it spins faster so it's better agitation and that doesn't affect the motor whatsoever it has the same amount of suction It only changes when you pull this trigger. Um, right here, you, it displays your battery life. I'm on two bars right now, and I'm fine, completely fine. Got to your dust canister right here. You press this to empty it, or for cleaning, you press this little button right here. And you can take it off. Um, you have a filter right here. I never even knew it was there until literally yesterday. So there's that. Um, you have this one and this one. Make sure the spongy one goes in first. Like I said, it reminds me of an auric because the it sucks in through here, the tube, the handle, if you will. Um, yeah. So you can stick this on here and vacuum with that. Or you can use this. One thing I have never done before is seen Yeah, yeah it doesn't really do anything without the cup. Duh, because it sort of needs it. Alright, so there's that. And you can slap it on here. And let me show you the brush roll moving. This is on hard floors. this new feature which you press the gray button and it can go ultra flat under your under your fringe. I mean look how crazy flat that is. And if you have a short person that is going to be vacuuming, three year olds or something, you can have it like this and you can be super short but still vacuuming. So it also like I said, folds over, and this little bumper here, it hits it, and you can see right there. So it doesn't hit your hole whatsoever. Without that, it would have hit this button and just unlatched it right there, and it would have just fallen off. Um, there is no onboard thingy for any of your attachments, I don't think. Oh, oh, I just found this out literally this second. You can take this tube out. Oh, that's nice for like your closet.
logs and stuff. Okay, let's take that off. Let me let me show you that. Oh my gosh, that's a nice feature. See this this tube right here? There are these two little dots right here, and you just want to squeeze them, and it comes right off. And it's a decently long tube. I'm sure if you wanted to, you could vacuum up with that. Actually, that work. I want to try that. See, there's just suction at that, and you can just have a little short tube. Or you could connect a tube to it. Something like that. There we go. Oh. eventually have to get to testing it so oh, we'll pop that down stick it in pop it back down I've heard somewhere that that's a good way just to protect it all right and we will go ahead and shut off this and we'll go over here and just get this little stool right here so I can film all the crap on the ground. All right. We're just going to vacuum up on the carpet real quick here. I have a light here shining down on the carpet and on me. We will still be testing these tools, trust me. Because we have plenty of dirt. Um, Bag of dirt. Oh, let's turn off my fan. Because that would not be nice. Dust everywhere. Let me just go up here and like slow it down a bit. But slow it down, I mean completely stop. Okay. <laughs> now, my other vacuum is on. Or not vacuum. Uh, my other fan. Yeah, it's packed full in there. Oof. Oh. Yeah. Oh, and you can see it sucked up that thing when I put it in the tube. And it is extra dirty in there because... Oof. Look at all of that. Alright. We will just push it into my carpet here. Oh. Just stuff everything. Like I said, this thing can't really take big clumps of anything because it's like an auric. The tube is so small that it can't pick up anything that's too big. Um, except aurics are a dirty band cleaner. So you can't suck up like pennies or anything because you'll just. Yeah, you'll hear some plastic working and that's it. Your auric is down for. Unless you replace the fan, but I'm too lazy to do that. I don't have an auric. I've always wanted one. I might be getting one. I don't know. Alright. So there is a disgusting amount of dirt right here. My carpet is really discolored. Um, let me flip around and show you guys. Like I said, my carpet is really discolored right 